Hey there frosty friends and curious minds, welcome back to our channel, where today we're diving into a world where the chill of ice meets the thrill of discovery. Get ready to have your minds blown with some of the most jaw-dropping finds ever unearthed from the icy grips of our planet. From ancient mysteries frozen in time to bizarre artifacts that'll make you do a double take, we've got it all. So grab a cozy blanket, maybe a hot cocoa, and let's embark on this frosty, fun-filled adventure together. You won't believe what's been hiding beneath the ice. Here are 20 jaw-dropping discoveries found frozen in ice. Wooly Rhino Imagine stumbling upon a real-life Ice Age mystery right in your backyard. Welcome to Eastern Siberia, where locals made an astonishing discovery. A remarkably preserved woolly rhino straight out of the Ice Age. Can you believe it? Buried for thousands of years, this ancient creature, complete with internal organs, suddenly emerged from the melting permafrost in Siberia. It's like a scene from a movie, but it's real. Now picture this. Scientists are itching to study this rare find, but there's a twist. They have to wait for ice roads to form to transport this prehistoric treasure to the city of Yukatsk for a closer look. Talk about a race against time and nature. The rhino, a young one who lived between 20,000 and 50,000 years ago, met an untimely end, probably drowning. Sad, right? So, what's next for our woolly friend? In the hands of eager scientists, it's set to reveal secrets of the past. Maybe just maybe, we'll learn a bit more about the life during the Ice Age. Stay tuned, because this story is just beginning. Who knew a frozen rhino could be so fascinating? And now it's time for our open discussion. What they found frozen in ice, no one was supposed to see. Deep within the icy embrace of a cavern, a figure emerges, blue as the frost that holds it captive. Is it an ancient warrior frozen in time, a mythical creature caught mid-pose, or simply an ice sculptor's abandoned masterpiece? Could this be the chill spot for a real-life frozen character, or have we stumbled upon something not even Disney could imagine? Share your coolest thoughts and theories in the comments using the hashtag OpenDiscussion. Hey you, feeling lucky? Want a shout out in tomorrow's video? All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and comment down below your fave moment from today's juicy topics. Tomorrow, you just might be the talk of the town. Alright, enough chit chat, back to the show. Ice Volcano Have you ever seen a volcano made of ice? Imagine a towering, frosty spectacle, 45 feet tall, not spewing lava but springing from a frozen fountain. That's right, in the chilly expanses near Almaty, Kazakhstan, an ice volcano has emerged, dazzling and mystifying onlookers. How you ask? Picture an underground spring, like a natural water cannon shooting up into the freezing air. Instant ice sculpture. It's like Mother Nature's own art project, but wait, there's more. This isn't just a one-off wonder, it's the second of its kind in the region drawing crowds who can't resist its icy allure. Now, let's break the ice a bit more. To whip up an ice volcano, you need just the right mix. Frosty temperatures, the perfect surf height, and solid ice coverage. It's a recipe for chilly magic, and guess what? The USA's got its own icy eruptions too, around Lake Michigan. Picture waves playing hide-and-seek under the ice, bursting out in frosty fountains. But here's the coolest part, pun intended. These icy giants can spring up in just a few hours if the waves flex their muscles. Battle of Death Have you ever wondered what happens when nature's lessons take an unexpected turn? Let's dive into a story from the chilly wilderness of Alaska, where learning from others' missteps can be quite moostifying. Picture this, Brad Webster, a school teacher, and his buddy strolling along a frozen slough about 10 miles from town. The air is crisp, the ground crunchy underfoot, Suddenly, they spot something extraordinary. Two bull moose, majestic and mighty, but with a twist. They're partially frozen under the ice, antlers locked in an eternal struggle. What led to this frosty face-off? Well, the most likely tale is a battle over a lady moose. A fight where, as Brad put it, one won and they both lost. Imagine the drama. One moose knocks the other out, maybe breaks its neck, and it's a tragic twist of fate. Both end up submerged and frozen. But the story doesn't end there. Brad and his friends, in a blend of curiosity and respect for these fallen beasts, decide to return. Their mission? To free the moose heads from their icy tomb. A daunting task indeed. Frozen Fox Have you ever heard the tale of the fox that tried to cross a river in the frosty heart of winter? 
but ended up frozen in time instead. It's not a fable, but a true story from Germany, where nature's brush strokes painted a chilling yet mesmerizing scene. Imagine, if you will, a mischievous fox trotting along the snowy banks of the Danube, dreaming of what mysteries lay on the other side. Little did it know its journey would turn into a winter's art. Enter Franz Steele, a local hunter with a keen eye for nature's unexpected spectacles. He's seen his fair share of frozen wonders, deer, wild boar, all trapped in icy slumber. But nothing compared to the sight he stumbled upon one December day in 2016. Our furry friend encapsulated in a crystal coffin of ice, like a scene straight out of a Damien Hirst exhibition. There it was, a fox, paused in time, a beautiful yet somber reminder of nature's untamed force. Steele, moved by the spectacle, captured this moment in a photograph. It's a sight that's both mournful and incredible. But what do you think the fox was seeking on the other side? Perhaps it was chasing a dream or running from a shadow. Icing Survival Ever wondered how alligators deal with winter? No? Well, prepare to be both amused and amazed. Picture this, a frozen lake eerily quiet and still. But wait, what's that poking out of the ice? It's an alligator's snout. Yes, you heard it right. When winter hits and lakes freeze over, these crafty reptiles have a nifty trick up their scales. Twitter was buzzing with confusion and laughter when Tanzu Yigen shared a clip of this bizarre sight. One user joked, If I could just peace out for winter, I probably would too. So, how do these cold-blooded creatures pull off this frosty feat? It's called icing, a survival technique where alligators keep their snouts above water to breathe while their bodies stay submerged in the icy depths. David R. Bohr from the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation explains that their cartilage snouts don't freeze, keeping them alert and moving. Now, isn't that just the coolest, pun intended, winter strategy you've ever heard of? Remember the next time when you're feeling chilly, at least you're not a snout-breathing alligator in a frozen lake. Blue Babe Have you ever wondered what a 55,000-year-old bison tastes like? Gold miners in the icy Alaskan wilderness stumbled upon a remarkable discovery. Blue Babe, a mummified steppe bison, perfectly preserved by the Ice Age chill. Imagine their awe. But here's where it gets quirky. Researchers at the University of Alaska Museum of the North, curious as cats, couldn't resist a prehistoric taste test. In 1979, they carefully sliced off a piece of its neck. To eat or not to eat? That was the question. Spoiler alert, they went for it. But wait, there's a twist. The ancient bison meat, now a culinary relic, needed a generous helping of sauce to mask its, well, less than appetizing flavor. Gross. So, what do you think? Would you take a bite out of history or stick to your regular barbecue? As they say, one man's mummy is another man's meal. And who knows, maybe next time they'll find a mammoth. Bear in permafrost. Imagine stumbling upon a time capsule from the past, but instead of letters and trinkets, it's a 3,500-year-old brown bear. That's exactly what happened in Siberia, where reindeer hunters discovered a perfectly preserved bear in the permafrost. Picture this, a creature frozen for millennia, with everything still intact, fur, claws, teeth, and even its internal organs. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But wait, there's more. Initially, scientists thought this mummified marvel belonged to a well-known species and was really, really old. But plot twist, recent research revealed it's much younger from a completely different species. How's that for a surprise? It's like expecting to find a vintage car and ending up with a rare exotic model instead. Now, you might be wondering, what does this mean? Well, this furry find is not just cool, it's a game changer for science. It's a unique glimpse into the past, reshaping our understanding of the ancient animal kingdom. 100-year-old notebook. Can you believe it? A 100-year-old mystery unearthed in the icy heart of Antarctica. The narrator begins, his voice bubbling with excitement. In a place where time seems frozen, a photographer's century-old notebook filled with secrets of a bygone era has just been found. The story unfolds in the vast white wilderness of Antarctica, where the summer sun gently peels away layers of snow, revealing a hidden treasure, a notebook belonging to George Murray Levick, a British explorer with an eye for capturing moments in time. This isn't just any notebook, the narrator continues, inviting viewers on a journey back in time. It's a portal to the past, packed with Levick's photographic records. Imagine the scenes he witnessed, the adventures he lived. As the story delves into the notebook's contents, viewers are teased with questions. What secrets does it hold? What stories are etched in its pages? With each turn of the page, the viewers are drawn deeper into the enigmatic world of Levick's Antarctica. 
The climax arrives as the notebook entries filled with dates, subjects, and exposure details are matched with Levick's photographs, bridging a century-old gap. It's like solving a puzzle piece by piece, photo by photo. Grasshopper Glacier Have you ever heard of a glacier filled with grasshoppers? Yes, you heard that right. Welcome to the intriguing world of Grasshopper Glacier. Tucked away in the Beartooth Mountains, this icy wonder first caught attention in 1898, thanks to James P. Kimball's eye-opening survey. But hold on, it gets even wilder. There are not one, but four glaciers named after these happy little critters in Montana and Wyoming. Imagine a frozen world, a snapshot in time, preserving the infamous Rocky Mountain locust, a pest that once wreaked havoc across the Great Plains. Now, picture this, you're hiking through the Beartooth Mountains, maybe on foot or horseback, or even a jeep back in the day, of course. And there it is, the most famous grasshopper glacier, a former tourist hotspot. It's like nature's own time capsule, locking away these swarming critters that used to turn lush fields into burnt places. But here's the twist. These locusts weren't just any ordinary bugs. Every six to 10 years, like clockwork, they would transform, swarm out, and then silence. They'd vanish for years. Makes you wonder, right? What secrets does Grasshopper Glacier still hold? Maybe it's time for another adventure to find out. Zur the Wolf Have you ever heard of Zur, the adorable Ice Age wolf pup frozen in time? In 2016, Yukon miners delving deep into the Klondike goldfield stumbled upon a tiny ancient secret buried in the permafrost. Meet Zur, a perfectly mummified wolf pup from the Ice Age, named after the Han word for wolf. Imagine a window to a world long gone, preserved for thousands of years. Led by Dr. Julie Meachin and Dr. Grant Zazula, a team of scientists embarked on a fascinating journey unraveling the mysteries of Zur's life. How old was this little wolf? What did it munch on during those frosty Ice Age days? And could Zur be the missing puzzle piece connecting us to ancient wolves? Their discoveries published in Current Biology are not just scientific breakthroughs, but also a captivating tale of a creature from a time when mammoths roamed the earth. So what do you think Zur's life was like? Did it play in the snow or was it a fierce little hunter? The answers might be lost in time. But Zur's discovery reminds us of the incredible stories hidden beneath our feet, waiting to be unearthed. Isn't it amazing how a tiny frozen pup can bring the Ice Age back to life in our imaginations? Giant Camel Imagine this, giant camels towering and majestic roaming the icy landscapes of Canada's Arctic North. Yes, you heard that right. Once upon a time, about 3.5 million years ago, camels that were a whopping 29% larger than today's versions called the High Arctic Home. How cool is that? A recent study diving into the past uncovered a fossil on Ellesmere Island, and guess what? This wasn't just any fossil, it was a massive tibia bone, hinting that these ancient camels were real-life giants. Scientists think these camels strutted all the way from North America to Eurasia, probably taking a scenic walk over the Bering Isthmus. Now, picture the Arctic back then, not a snowy wasteland, but a lush green forest. Hard to imagine, right? These camels, though, they were tough cookies. Surviving winters with almost no sunlight and freezing temperatures, no big deal for them. But here's the thought, what if you could time travel and see these majestic creatures for yourself? How would they look, gazing among the trees, their long legs striding confidently across the ancient land? It's a fascinating glimpse into a world long gone, and who knows what other secrets the past still hides. Mystery of the Old Tools Ever heard of a treasure hunt where the treasures find you? Well, welcome to the melting Yukon, where 5,000-year-old secrets are popping up like daisies in spring. Picture this, Greg Hare, not your everyday Indiana Jones, but a veteran archaeologist with a knack for finding ancient goodies. His playground? The icy landscapes of Yukon, thawing to reveal a treasure trove of archaeological wonders. Now, Greg's not just any khaki-clad, no-nonsense scientist. Give him a 5,000-year-old throwing dart and he transforms into an animated storyteller, eyes twinkling with the magic of history. Imagine him in his white horse lab, surrounded by over 200 artifacts, each with a story etched in time. He's like a kid in a candy store, but instead of sweets, it's ancient hunting tools. He grabs a replica of the ancient dart, showing us how hunters of yesteryear would launch these with precision and force. With a few and a mock throw, Greg takes us back thousands of years, making us wonder what stories do these ancient tools hold? Did they witness mammoth hunts or stealthy pursuits in the ancient forests? Hyena Teeth 
Imagine over a million years ago, a creature unlike any other roamed the icy grasslands of ancient Yukon, Canada. Who was this mysterious traveler? None other than a prehistoric hyena, known to scientists as… I don't know how to say that. But wait, a hyena in the Arctic? That's right folks, this wasn't your average scavenger. Picture a creature more like wolf than today's laughing hyenas, yet just as fierce, equipped with jaws strong enough to crush bone. Now, let's take a step back. The story of our bone-crushing friend began nearly a century ago with a discovery near the Grand Canyon. From California to Kansas, and even across oceans to Africa and Eurasia, the pieces of this prehistoric puzzle were slowly coming together. But there was a gap, a big one. How did this hyena end up in the Americas? Cue the dramatic music. The answer lay hidden in a place called Beringia where once a land bridge connected Siberia and Alaska. The missing link, elusive until now. A pair of teeth, not just any teeth, but the teeth of this beast discovered in the Arctic. These tiny fossils are big news, bridging a gap in a million-year-old mystery. Ancient Lunchbox Have you ever lost your lunchbox? Imagine losing it and having it discovered 3,500 years later. That's exactly what happened in the Swiss Alps, where archaeologists stumbled upon a Bronze Age traveler's wooden lunchbox. It's a tale straight out of a mystery novel, but it's all real. Buried under ice near a mountain's peak, this ancient container, now a fascinating relic, gives us a peek into a journey long forgotten. What was inside? Traces of grain? Yes, our traveler might have been munching on wheat or rye porridge. Think about it, a 3,500-year-old lunch menu. Now, losing a lunchbox isn't new, but finding one from the Bronze Age? That's a story in itself. It makes you wonder. What was this traveler like? What stories could this box tell if it could talk? And how did it survive all these years when leather and wood usually vanish without a trace? It's like Otzi, the Iceman's birch bark containers, surviving through time. Lightweight handy for those snowy mountain passes. Our Bronze Age hiker knew a thing or two about packing light, just like hikers today. Frozen Lighthouse have you ever seen the lighthouse turn into an icy wonderland? Picture this, a frigid December, colder than your freezer, gripping the Midwest and plains with a frosty fist. Thanks to a cheeky polar vortex, we're talking record low temperatures. Now, imagine a serene lake, usually calm, but now it's dancing with three meter high waves, stirred up by the mischievous wind conditions. And there, standing tall amidst this chilly chaos is our hero, the lighthouse. Each wave, like a playful nudge, breaks up the ice, splashing against the lighthouse, dressing it in sparkling icicles. It's like nature's own holiday decoration, isn't it? Day after day, the lighthouse, battered yet unyielding, turns into a glistening icy beacon. Picture that. A tower so stubborn it becomes a frosty work of art, just by standing still. How cool is that? Literally. So the next time you're shivering in your cozy socks, remember our frosty friends out there shining bright in the coldest dance of the year. 170-Year-Old Shipwreck Have you ever wondered what secrets lie beneath the icy Arctic waters? Imagine stumbling upon a ghostly ship, a relic from a bygone era, frozen in time. Welcome to the eerie world of the HMS Terror, a 170-year-old shipwreck from a lost Arctic expedition that's just been unearthed by archaeologists. This isn't your typical underwater discovery. Picture this. China plates and bottles, still neatly stacked on shelves as if waiting for the crew's return. Officers' cabins and weapons, all eerily well-preserved. What tales could they tell? What about the paper and photographic records, possibly still intact, whispering the last words of a doomed voyage? The ship, part of Sir John Franklin's ill-fated 1845 expedition to navigate the Northwest Passage, holds more than just artifacts. It's a time capsule from the tragic tale of survival against all odds. But wait, it gets more chilling. The crew, after losing their captain, tried to trek back to civilization in 1848, but never made it. Rumors of desperation and cannibalism swirl around their fate. So, what do you think? Could the HMS Terror still have secrets to reveal, frozen in time, waiting for us to uncover? The Arctic depths continue to hold their breath, and so do we. Rectangular Iceberg have you ever seen icebergs shaped like giant frozen candy bars? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a chilly adventure. On October 16, 2018, something unusual caught the eye of a NASA ice bridge team over the frosty expanse of the Arctic Peninsula. Imagine soaring above icy waters and spotting not one, but two rectangular icebergs, sharp as math teacher's rulers. 
Our hero of the story, Jeremy Harbeck, a senior support scientist, was more than a little intrigued. Picture this, a vast icy landscape, and there they were, these angular marvels floating like giant icy rafts. One of these icebergs even seemed to have popped right off the Larsen Sea ice shelf, like a piece of a gigantic arctic jigsaw puzzle. But here's a fun twist. Jeremy was actually more interested in capturing the gigantic A68 iceberg, a frozen behemoth the size of Delaware. Talk about being photobombed by a couple of rectangular icebergs. So what did he do? He shrugged, aimed his camera, and snapped some shots that would soon fascinate the world. As our frosty tale wraps up, let's remember this quirky icy escapade. It's a reminder that sometimes the coolest stories come from the most unexpected of places, literally. So the next time you're sipping on a cold drink, think of those rectangular icebergs, chilling in the Antarctic, just waiting for their next photo op. Ice Fish Colony Imagine a world hidden beneath the icy waves of Antarctica, where a spectacular discovery awaits. In this enchanting underwater realm, researchers aboard the polar stern vessel have stumbled upon a breathtaking sight, the world's largest fish breeding ground, teeming with 60 million nests of Antarctic ice fish. Picture this, the ocean floor 535 meters of deep transformed into a bustling nursery for these mysterious creatures. Each nest a meticulously crafted circle of stones, cradles of thousands of precious eggs. But wait, there's more. Amidst the muddy seabed, these nests shine like the stars in the night sky, with adult ice fish diligently guarding their future offspring. The team's excitement is palpable as their camera reveals nest after nest, a density so astounding it suggests one breeding site every three square meters. Can you believe it? As the story unfolds, we're not just witnessing a natural wonder, but a rallying cry for conservation. This massive breeding canopy, a hidden treasure in the depths of the Weddell Sea, highlights the urgent need to protect these unique creatures and their habitat. So as we marvel at this underwater spectacle, let's also remember the importance of preserving our planet's hidden wonders. Well-preserved brain. Have you ever heard about Yuka, the woolly mammoth with a secret? Well, buckle up, because this tale from the icy Siberian permafrost is gonna blow your mind, quite literally. Imagine stumbling upon a 39,000-year-old mammoth, perfectly frozen in time. That's exactly what happened in 2010, near Yukagir, Russia. But here's the kicker. Yuka wasn't just any woolly mammoth, it had a brain, folks. A well-preserved, almost intact brain that had scientists jumping with excitement. Now, picture this. A team of researchers armed with CT scans and MRI machines unraveling the mysteries of a creature from a time long gone. They discovered not just any old brain, but a brain with folds, blood vessels, and even nervous tissue. Can you believe it? Yuka's brain was like a window into the past, revealing secrets of mammoth behavior and lifestyle. And the journey didn't stop there. Yuka, the traveling mammoth, made its way to Moscow, changing locations like a rock star on tour, finally resting at the Russian Geographic Society Festival. But wait, there's more. The researchers had to tree pan the skull. Yes, that means cutting into it to uncover the marvels inside. Ugh. What they found was a brain stained brown from oxidation, but still telling tales of the mammoth world. And through Yuka, they even learned how to better preserve mammoth brains in the future. So the next time you think about woolly mammoths, remember Yuka, the mammoth with the brain that took a tour across Russia and into the annals of science. Isn't history just fascinating? Rare Meteorite Imagine a place where the ground sparkles with hidden treasures from space, and every step could lead to a discovery millions of years old. Welcome to Antarctica, the icy treasure trove where Maria Valdez, a spunky scientist from Chicago, embarked on an adventure of a lifetime. In this frosty playground, she and her team found a rare 17 pound meteorite, as heavy as a bowling ball, but as valuable as gold for science. But here's the twist. Hunting for these space gems is surprisingly low tech. It's just Maria and her team bundled up against the cold, cruising on snowmobiles, eyes peeled for any unusual rock that didn't belong. Think about it, how cool would it be to spot a rock from space just lying there on the ice? Now picture this, they're melting bits of this cosmic visitor with strong acids, like little detectives unraveling an interstellar mystery. What secrets will it spill about our solar system's past? But wait, there's more. This meteorite is just one of over 300,000 waiting to be discovered. Can you imagine what secrets the others hold? As Maria says, this is just the tip of the iceberg. 
So, what do you think? Are you ready to join the next space rock hunt in the freezing yet fascinating world of Antarctica? 